Okay, who was the idiot who started the fire? No way, it could be on fire by now. Stolen from the desk of George Washington. Cool view of the outhouses. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Hey. What is it this time? What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? What are you inventing? It's a piece of paper that will stick to things by itself. Rather ingenious, if I must say so myself. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. I don't wanna. It's Red's battery. It's covered with plans and junk. I don't do housework.
Hey. What is it this time? What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? What are you inventing? It's a new size independent fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. When induction elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Stop! That book's starting to put me to sleep. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Ready for another brush with destiny? Sure, why not? Splendid! Now! She's handling kinda funny! You got it, just hang on there! She's too heavy! I can't control her! Hang on, Ben! Hang on! She's breaking up! She's breaking up! <laughs> Run for your life! Now that was interesting! Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now, so I can study the results. Wish me luck! I never got your name! It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. The lightning must have charged it up. I don't think it'll get much power from that. Whoa! According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the Sledgeomatic! Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... Ha <laughs> ha! You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! 
you can't all go in the same stall. Didn't you see the fly? We're... We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now, wait just a minute. It's Green Tentacle. It's Green Tentacle. What was that green? Green Tentacle behind you. What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojohn. Together, we will conquer the world. You tell there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge man to touch the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... Leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha. Run for it. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Shh! Maybe he won't find us. You who? Where are you, human? Impressive triangular formation. Aha! Uh oh! Take that! And 
this. Drat. Perhaps if I readjust the static phrase dynamo again. Aha! Uh-oh. Take that. Drat. How can it possibly continue to thwart me? We're too small to use the stairs. No way! There's things in there that look like they've been there for years! Except for those beef squidlies, I got everything I want out of there. How can it possibly continue to thwart me? Aha! Uh-oh! Take that! And this! Drat! Except for those beef squidlies, I got everything I want out of there. Where'd he go? Hmm, this door appears to be locked. This door appears to be locked. can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans are so small-minded. <laughs> Geek!
Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed. We can't reach it. <laughs> you humans are so small minded. <laughs> Run all you like, you insignificant insect. <laughs> Dr. Fred, are you all right? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! <laughs> Dr. Fred is being held under duress. I think it's designed to run with something, more like a small rodent. I've already... That's probably a bad idea. My other selves are taking over the world as we speak. Just what is it you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. Sounds like that's all Dr. Fred's fault, really. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Are you really a future version of Purple Tentacle? Who else would be brilliant enough to invent the Diminuator? Can you remember stuff that hasn't happened yet? Naturally. Could you give us some stock tips? Don't invest in shoes. <laughs> do the sharks ever have a winning season? No, but the tentacles do. <laughs> Are you more? or less intelligent than the purple tentacle from our time. The same, but I've had 200 years to think things over. <laughs> You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? Why don't you zap Dr. Fred if you hate him so much? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. <laughs> oh, drat. Ah, surely we can talk this out. Hmm. Talk? Surely. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine! <laughs> all mine! Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Well, 
kiddies. It's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. Exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. <laughs>